go. Let's get this thing cleaned up. It's not that bad. Like literally I was pulling tree roots, tree roots, like five inches of leaves, like 10 tires, tons of shit obviously out of this thing. So let's make her nice. guys so here we are working on the 1981 Chevy C20 actually I think it might be an 82 oh why the fuck it says that. it's an 82 I guess uh Chevy C20 with the straight six changing the spark plugs right now these are NGK UR4 V powers. So when you do these, you're gonna wanna make sure you do them one at a time, as in you don't pull all the wires off the plugs and then do them, because each wire specifically goes to a specific plug and it will misfire if you don't line those up right. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this anti-seize uh, thread sealant on the end of the plug here. So this is what a new plug looks like. I didn't use a feeler gauge or anything. I'm just gonna go with it. The stock gap is gonna be pretty close. Honestly, they weren't that bad, but if you look closely at this, should be able to see that there's a little divot. There's a little divot inside the spark plug right in here. And they were pretty fueled out. They were damp and stuff. But, so we're just gonna get some new ones in there. Okay, so that's all you need for sealant on your threads there. Threading it on by hand to start. You want to just snug it up. Okay, so once you have your new plug in there, you can then take your wire, just work it, plug it back in. Okay, so we got the plug off there. Or, I mean, the, we got the wire off the plug in there. Take a ratchet. Line it up. Get it nice and get over it. Now this plug, you can see how rich it is. It's damp with fuel and then if you look at the prong it has a little ridge right in the middle of it it's supposed to look completely flat you can take your wire make sure it's on on both ends and just make sure it's cleaned out in there kind of want to go like that you should feel it push over the plug. Next, we're gonna move up to this first plug right here. Okay, so we got all six spark plugs changed out.
get it jacked up. And on jack stands. About to go around and fill all the tires. Gonna do an oil change, coolant change. Gonna drain out the radiator, drain out the oil pan. Still gotta wash off this truck. <laughs> gauge here tells you the pressure sensor digitally <laughs> Gonna do an oil change, coolant change. Gonna drain out the radiator, drain out the oil pan. Okay guys, I know it's dark down here, but this is the drain bolt right here. I cracked it already with my 9 16 uh, ratchet. And there she comes, going down into the pan. Okay, so that's starting to slow down to like a drip now. So the oil filter is not exactly hard to get to or to reach into. You have like a lot of room right here. Oil filter wrenches to reach around that thing and grab it nice and easily. Uh, it can be a bitch. You can use a big pair of channel locks. Um, but other than that, it should come off pretty easily. Okay, so oil filter's out. You want to make sure you bring up your drain pan. Oh. I missed a little bit because <clears throat> this is gonna pour out of there when you crack the seal from the engine here we go one two three four five first I got to put the oil filter back on and then go underneath and uh, put the bolt back in the drain plug down there but before you put this in you're gonna want to make sure that this gasket is pushed in and flush all the way around the filter because if this gets kinked up, you'll definitely start leaking oil. So you're gonna wanna get it as tight as you can by hand and then take your uh, wrench, go down and just tighten it up snug. This way you know it won't leak. Got filters all screwed on, but we do have to go down underneath get the oil pan out of here now grab our bolt that we saved make sure your washer's on that and just put that back into the drain hole it's finger tight and we're just going to take our ratchet tighten it up snug 